Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the University of Central Lancashire, I'm delighted to warmly welcome you to Preston Guild Hall and to this graduation ceremony. On this special day, we are here to proudly celebrate the achievements of our students from the Faculty of Business, Law and Applied Social Studies. I now call upon the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Mike Thomas, to give his address. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, before I start my speech, I'd just like to say that I've observed some babies and infants in the audience if they make a noise or they wish to run about or they cry, please don't be embarrassed or worry. We, we quite like that noise in the hall. Let them do whatever they want to do. Let them make what noise they wish. We consider them our future students, so they're welcome here. So, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, members of the university board, honorary fellows and our graduates. It's a great pleasure to welcome you to this graduation ceremony at which we acknowledge and celebrate the achievements of our new graduates. I always look forward to graduation ceremonies and the chance for the university, its staff, board members, honorary fellows and honored guests to celebrate such an important day for you, our graduates and postgraduates, your family and your friends. So this is your day. I hope you enjoy both the ceremony itself and the celebrations which I know will continue afterwards with your families and friends. I think it's difficult for people not ingrained in a university to fully comprehend that universities are not public sector organisations, though we have a large amount of public sector responsibilities due to the funding mechanism. We're also not fully a commercial organisation though we have to raise our own revenue and fully engage in income generation activities while retaining our primary mission of developing knowledge, teaching, research and enterprise. And whilst many universities, including yours, are registered as charities, we're not solely a charity because we have to engage in the commercial and private sector. My speech really is for you. Universities are strange beasts. We are simultaneously public sector, commercial and charitable. And here at the University of Central Lancashire, we try and incorporate those three organisations through aspects of the organisations by focusing on you, our graduates and postgraduates. You are our main reason for existing as an organisation. We are wholly committed to ensuring that you have the relevant learning, knowledge, skills and resources to broaden your intellectual horizon, your tolerance of other people and your passion to support your communities. Lancashire School of Business and Enterprise is a truly international school with not only students but partners that span the globe. The school was only formed a year ago when the schools of management and business were brought together under a new vision as an innovative and entrepreneurial school working with business, positively changing lives by inspiring and empowering you through excellent business and management programs and informed by high quality research and enterprise. It's these values and vision that you, our graduates, will offer to society and your professions, not only in Lancashire, but across the world. The staff at the school are extremely proud of you the graduates and postgraduates, and your enviable achievements. And we take great pride in helping you develop as you go through your journey and become outstanding members of your community and society at large. We will always be proud of you. I would argue that one should never underestimate the experience you have in your university life and the way it shapes your thinking and how it can influence your future. Your university has a long history of transforming lives. We were first established on the 7th of October in 1828 as the Institute for the Diffusion of Knowledge here in Preston. And as you graduate this year, 
your university celebrates its 190th birthday. The original group that formed what became the University of Central Lancashire were radical in their thinking about education, learning and innovation. And we recognise that in today's world, we have a responsibility to continue that original mission and spirit of radicalism, to be innovative, to implement creative thinking and help you to continue with your lives more equipped and more resilient. But our success is achieved together. Staff and students seeking new knowledge to provide clarity and certainty. For in the midst of this period of uncertainty, there are certain things that we know about you. For instance, we know today that you are graduates and postgraduates. We certainly know that you've all worked hard for your award. There's a sense of certainty as well if you hold on to those beliefs and values that support our communities, the principles and approaches that we value and are enshrined in your university. For instance, common sense, the judgment to do the right thing for others, compassion, to treat others with consideration, care and honesty, teamwork, to think and act together, value and collective as highly as individual achievements, attentiveness, to take personal and professional pride in the quality of your work, but show that you can listen while you do that work. And finally, trust, showing respect and integrity in everything that you do. I hope the university provided a space for you to discuss ideas, to pursue different views and perspectives, to explore new ways of doing things and apply different methodologies. So take your university values with you as you go on with your lives. We know some other things about you. We know you have the ability to understand complex issues. We know you can be critical in making judgments. We know you have the confidence to challenge and have an impact on the status quo. We know you've developed a value for civil society and a willingness to make a personal contribution. We know this because we've tested you and we've assessed you. You are graduates and postgraduates. So continue to watch and listen and observe and devise new solutions to things that life brings to you. Keep learning, exercise your intellect, and be ready to intervene. Make the most of every opportunity that comes along. Don't be afraid or unwilling to try different things. Forge your own path. Be ready to compromise when you need to. We look to you. You are our future hope. Participate in processes and debates in organisations, in businesses and commerce and seek to make a difference. We know one last thing about you. We know that gaining the awards you have earned and which we celebrate today is difficult. That must be so. I make no apologies for that. Few things in life of genuine value are easy to gain and success in the university is far from easy. The university would have demanded from you dedication, commitment, intellectual endeavour and hard work. I'm sure that many of you here in the audience today, families, friends and colleagues, would have been called upon to provide a helping hand in that journey. So on your behalf, I would like to thank everyone in the audience for the invaluable support and ask that you, our graduates, join me in sharing our appreciation to you all. Universities really are strange beasts. When you look at the colours, the theatre, the gowns, you are part of an academic community. We bring together colleagues and individuals from across the world who dedicate their lives to learning and supporting transformation. That's what makes a university community. You would have been taught by a dedicated group of academic staff, many of whom are international leaders in their field, and all of whom devote their professional lives to the teaching, learning and development of their subjects. You'd have also been supported by many highly dedicated professional staff who have provided the services and infrastructure that have made your success possible. So once again, on your behalf, I would like to thank every one of our staff and ask that you join me in applauding them.
In a few minutes, the names of our graduates will be called out and we'll applaud and cheer. Please, everybody, make as much noise as you can. This is a celebratory ceremony. Each of you in front of me will enter on the stage right as graduates or postgraduates. You'll cross the stage halfway across, you'll shake my hand and exit stage left as graduates and postgraduates. We do this to pub publicly acknowledge your individual achievements and to congratulate you personally. I know everybody in the hall will be as enthusiastic with your applause for our first graduate as you will be for our final graduate. We genuinely take great pride in your achievement. I'm confident that many of you will go on with your careers and bring not only real social and economic benefit to yourselves, but also to the communities in which you will live. Whatever you decide to do next, wherever in the world you find yourself, you'll always be a member of this university. I hope at some stage you will return to your academic home. For, for now, on behalf of everybody here, very well done, congratulations, and good luck for a happy and successful life. Thank you. Vice-Chancellor, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, the Academic Board confers an honorary fellowship on Barry Cunningham. <laughs> Vice-Chancellor, it was J.K. Rowling who said, if it wasn't for Barry Cunningham, Harry Potter might still be languishing in his cupboard under the stairs. I doubt any of the writers with whom he has worked could be more grateful to him. Yet even before the phenomenon that is the Harry Potter series brought Harry, Ron, Hermione and co to life, Barry was widely acknowledged as one of the most important figures in the literary world. After reading English at the University of Cambridge, Barry joined Penguin Books in 1977, eventually becoming marketing director and working with some of the greatest names in literature, including Roald Dahl, who teased Barry that his beard was the inspiration for his character, Mr. Twit. <laughs> Julian Barnes, Martin Amis, Spike Milligan, and Roger McGough. In 1994, he was approached by Bloomsbury Publishing to head up its children's division and helped make the publishing house a leading name in children's literature signing up J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone when all other publishers had turned it down. The university also has a lot to thank Barry for, having acted as an external consultant on our MA in publishing. He has also helped kickstart the careers of many UCLan graduates through work placements at Chicken House the publishing company he set up after leaving Bloomsbury. Barry was awarded an OBE in 2010 for his services to literature, and he continues to champion and support young people embarking on careers in the creative writing and publishing industries, making him an exemplary role model for the students and graduates of UCLan. Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Academic Board, it is with great pleasure that I present Barry Cunningham for the award of Honorary Fellow of the University of Central Lancashire.
invite Barry Cunningham to respond to the citation. Wow, it's just like being back at Hogwarts. Thank you very much to the university for this lovely honor and congratulations to all you graduates today. I'm here to paraphrase one of my authors because stories are another way of telling the truth. From Harry Potter to last year's Children's Book of the Year, The Girl of Ink and Stars, my career has shown how important it is that this fictionalized society, we teach and learn to recognize villains and to face up to fears for ourselves and for our children. As a young woman said to me in a school so recently, if we read these stories you are talking about, we can change our own story. It doesn't have to end where it began. What you've learned here and will continue to learn will change all our stories. So read lots, learn and live. And as Roald Dahl said to me, learn to live valiantly. Thank you very much. Vice-Chancellor, the presentation of graduands and award holders will now take place. Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Academic Board, I present those who have gained awards in the Lancashire School of Business and Enterprise. For research entitled, The Student Psychological Contract, a critical analysis of EVLN in managing the student experience, the degree of Doctor of Business Administration is awarded to Julie Hardy. For a thesis entitled, Factors Contributing to Cyber Abuse in Social Media and Outcomes for Users and Managers, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy by Published Works is awarded to Amy Binns. For a thesis entitled, An Investigation into the Forecasting of Skills in Nuclear Decommissioning, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Megan Grabovitz. For a thesis entitled, The Commodification of Dark Tourism, Conceptualizing the Visitor Experience, a Theoretical and Empirical Analysis, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Alex Grebenar.
For a thesis entitled Performance Measurement Framework for the Oil and Gas Supply Chain, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Masha Noor Salsabiela Binti Menat. Master of Arts in Marketing and Public Relations, Kira Lynch. <laughs> Master of Arts in Strategic Communication, Lucy Elizabeth Culkin. <laughs> Charlotte Emma Dimond. Emily Charlotte Firminger. <laughs> Christina Guash Warnholz. <laughs> Elizabeth Grace Hall. <laughs> Master of Business Administration, Felistus Ahmed. With the School Award for Excellence in Academic Achievement and Scholarship, Sarah Frances Sherrington. <laughs> Lawrence Veronique Pierrette Barrow. <laughs> Fiona Victoria Lugiano. Samantha Wallace-Jones. <laughs> Louise Wayne. <laughs> Master of Science in Business Management, Jiao Si Yu. <laughs> Master of Science in Human Resource Management, Sonal Hivari. Stephanie Jane Jervis. <laughs> Master of Science in International Business and Management, Tian Chong Chi. <laughs> Master of Science in Marketing Management, Rita Onyanonachi Eza. <laughs> Christopher Fuster. Postgraduate Diploma in Human Resource Management, Lindsay Johnston. <laughs> Timothy Kaiser. <laughs> Lindsay Worry. <laughs> Rebecca Rose Wharton. <laughs> Emma Jane Wright. Diploma in Management Studies, Emma Carter. <laughs> Joanne Chadwick. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Accounting and Business, Hawa Bibi Khaled. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Business Studies, Accounting and Finance, with the School Award for Excellence in Academic Achievement and Scholarship, Laura Seddon. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Accounting, Matthew Day. <laughs> Stuart Emlyn Walters. Hassan Ahmed. <laughs> Mohammed Ahmed. <laughs> Sarah Jane Ainsworth. 
Qasim Khalid J. A. Al Bunainin. Zedong Bui. With the School Award for Outstanding Commitment to Academic Scholarship, Joshua Burgess. <laughs> Amelia Ernest. <laughs> James Robert Farmery. <laughs> Luke Gannon. <laughs> Sean Hargreaves. Hassan Ilahi. <laughs> Sonia Phillip. <laughs> Laura Remet Booth. <laughs> Andrew Taylor Hall. <laughs> Skavula Theodoru. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Accounting and Finance, Zainal Ebedin Shaka. <laughs> Katrina Feather. <laughs> Connor James Hart. <laughs> Fatima Parker. Sandra Grolinska. <laughs> Ali Haider. <laughs> Huang Hui Chi. <laughs> With the School Award for Excellence in Academic Achievement and Scholarship, Amir Patel. Daniel Proctor. With the School Award for Outstanding Commitment to Academic Scholarship, Rachel Scott. Joseph Stafford. Harley Thomas. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Accounting and Financial Management with the School Award for Outstanding Commitment to Academic Scholarship, Cody Whale. <laughs> Jessica Cook. <laughs> Joshua Day. <laughs> with the School Award for Excellence in Academic Achievement and Scholarship, Martin Jones. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Accounting and Financial Studies, Eman Shauki Abdul Rahman Al Zajali. <laughs> Matthew Birchall. <laughs> with the School Award for Outstanding Commitment to Academic Scholarship, Kurum Ilyas. <laughs> Fahima Lunat. <laughs> Shanawaz Punawala. <laughs> Lauren Jane Wiley. <laughs> Stephen Jong. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Business Administration, Asa Akar. <laughs> Liana Victoria Black. <laughs> Shauna Campbell. <laughs> Catherine Helen Coburn. Elizabeth De La Rosa Padilla. Yeah. 
Levi Nicole Gibson. Nicola Hall. Charlotte Leader. Elena Leverone. Kieran McCulloch. Ryan Murphy. Jordan Owen. With the School Award for Outstanding Commitment to Academic Scholarship, Faye Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> Sam Tuhey. Anna Utrata. Sean Williams. Huang Xiaoxi. Huang Yi Shen. Lin Mun Ting. With the School Award for Outstanding Commitment to Academic Scholarship, Florina Toma. Vishal Upendran. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Business Administration Marketing, Mohammed Rashid Al Khomeidi. <laughs> Cheng Gon Shen. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Business and Management with the School Award for Excellence in Academic Achievement and Scholarship, Ryan Clarkin. <laughs> Jonathan Marcus Crimmins. <laughs> Nicole Rachel Curry. <laughs> Hannah Neal. Ryan Wellborn. <laughs> Katie Louise Wilcox. <laughs> With the school award for highest mark, Timothy Crozier. <laughs> Kelly Louise Pickup. Lorna Louise Taylor. <laughs> Holly Louise White. <laughs> Neil Ellison Woodley. <laughs> Alaa Abdullah Muhammad Al Khatib. Maha Hassan A. H. Al Sari. Charlotte Louise Andrew. Emily Barnes. Nazira Navid Bedeker. Chan Jing Kai. <laughs> Samantha Dillon. <laughs> Daisy Etherington. <laughs> Alice Fowler Guerin. Fu Yu Heng. Amir Hamid. Gemma Louise Hindle.
Stephanie Jade Hover. Jack Howarth. Ryan Connor Howarth. Saira Salimbay and Dwala. Faith Isbella. Michelle Jameson. Benjamin Elliot Jones. Rebecca Katie Jones. Samir Karimli. <laughs> Bethany Kerr. <laughs> Adil Lachmed Khan. <laughs> Bushra Noshin Khan. Cameron Littler. <laughs> Joseph William Lowe. <laughs> Dan Mungert. <laughs> Benedict McGeary. <laughs> Colleen Annie McMenamin. Meow Emo. <laughs> Sophie Caitlin Mills. <laughs> Adil Sabir Muhammad. <laughs> Sophie Jade Watmo Wooling Mullings. With the school award for outstanding commitment to academic scholarship, Nassim Banu Saeed Natha. <laughs> Fern Openshaw. <laughs> Adam Patel. <laughs> Muhammad Patel. Sam Pearson. Mark Perrin. Leah Potter. Nicholas Royal. Muhammad Usman Sadiq. <laughs> Muhammad Hamza Shakir. <laughs> Anna Sheridan. <laughs> Louise Jane Shields. Hardev Singh. <laughs> Louis Taylor. <laughs> Rory Benjamin Weavers. <laughs> Jack Windsor. Yu Boyang. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Business and Marketing with the School Award for Excellence in Academic Achievement and Scholarship, Evangeline Bolton.
Camilo Enrique Martinez Ortiz. Brindley Kenyon. Christian Alexander Lake. With the School Award for Outstanding Commitment to Academic Scholarship, Lu Hao Shin. Liam Christopher Marshall. Nathan Meal. Callum James Reeves. Liam Scott. John Yi Shen. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Business Economics with the John Coates Award for Excellence in Academic Achievement and Scholarship, Connor Glyn Hayden. <laughs> Sean Aldred. <laughs> Katie Bracewell. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Business Studies with the Brian Booth Award for Excellence in Academic Achievement and Scholarship in Part-Time Studies, Ellen Claire Barton. <laughs> Victoria Boyle. <laughs> Samantha Calvert. Emily Alice Fitzsimmons. <laughs> Rebecca Kate Gidley. <laughs> Christopher Paul Lee. <laughs> Lucy McFarlane. <laughs> Andrew Murray. Hana Patel. <laughs> Lucinda Jean Shipcott. <laughs> Thomas Sofield. <laughs> Michael Allen Stansfield. Natalie Isabel White. <laughs> Liam Jeffrey Borkwood. <laughs> Samuel Hall. <laughs> James Hofstetter. Rebecca Hannah Nolan. <laughs> Joshua Ridings Howarth. <laughs> Michael Graham Shepherd. <laughs> Humera Ahmed. Hani Asmani. <laughs> Huang Hu. <laughs> Louise Victoria Hunter. <laughs> Ashley Jolly. Emily Potts. <laughs> Kenneth Senior. <laughs> Daniel Stancliffe.
Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Business Studies Marketing, Daniel Robert Holland. <laughs> William Parker. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Economics, Robert Caddy. <laughs> Harry Morris. Zaid Valley. <laughs> Safia Voraji. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Event Management, Rosie May Asset. <laughs> John Paul Beattie. Natalia Bonilla. Georgina Haley Bridges. With the Team Spirit Event Management Prize, Cassandra Joanne Capoverdi. Leanne Elizabeth Crowther. Sophie Davis. Jack Grace. Mark Hurst. Amy Rebecca Jefferson. Ikra Shah. Francis Sims. Sean Summers. Jade Anderson. Joint winner of the Lynn Train Memorial Prize for Enterprise, David James Barker. Joint winner of the Lynn Train Memorial Prize for Enterprise, Hannah Rose Burton. <laughs> Lucy Carter. Grace Donahue. Lisa Jane Ingham. Claudia Mayer. <laughs> Joseph John McLaughlin. <laughs> Michelle O'Connor. <laughs> Holly Louise Presley. Samantha Rowe. Sean Ruin Weitzman. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts in Event Management, Kira Beaumont. Joshua Gray. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Global Business Management with the School Award for Excellence in Academic Achievement and Scholarship, Levi Kiyazali Ndungala. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in International Business with the International Business Award for Excellence in Academic Achievement and Scholarship, Khadija Abubakar. Sumeya Amla.
Thomas Bowden. <laughs> Cheng Kit Hung. <laughs> Callum Koppel. <laughs> Laura Dibdin. Sir Hang Farage. <laughs> Alain Pierre Girondo Becara. <laughs> Mohammed Ismail Hanif. <laughs> Rachel Sylvia Davidson. Lee Juen. <laughs> With the School Award for International Student of the Year, Lin Zhong. <laughs> Luo Yi Fu. <laughs> Luo Si Bin. Christina Masoso. <laughs> Thomas Sherwood. <laughs> Yuan In. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in International Business and Management, Salman Adil. Adam Matthew Collison. <laughs> Rex Kimona. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in International Hospitality Management, Kate Nicole Brotherton. <laughs> How fare you? Courtney Summer Jones. <laughs> Julia Cazanis. <laughs> Yu Kaiyu Jessica. <laughs> Nathando Mashonganyika. With the Council for Hospitality Management Education Prize, Chloe Tay Ng. -ng. <laughs> Jacqueline Ann Stout. <laughs> Chi Run Yu. Ju Yi Fan. Li Ye Pung. Carolina Narlock. Jacob Nelson. With the Marriott Prize for Hospitality, Daniel Abbas Katawala. <laughs> Jordan Rigby. <laughs> Wan Yi <Yishi>. Shi. <laughs> Megan Emma Yates.
Juan E. Quincy Yun. <laughs> Zhao Eng Chen. <laughs> Amy Elizabeth Cross. <laughs> Nisrin Abdul Wahab H. Falam Ban. Ahmed Azen Amza. <laughs> Feng Shi Lan. <laughs> With the Merlin Entertainment Prize for Tourism, Rachel Maudsley. Shannon Rose Power. <laughs> Rachel Emma Rogers. <laughs> With the Lintray Memorial Prize for Consultancy, Shelley Holly Teasdale. <laughs> Zara Tor. Tammy Tudor. Bradley Webster. Chloe Wright. With the School Award for Excellence in Academic Achievement and Scholarship, Santa Zasharinska. Manuka Ale. <laughs> Rebecca Baxter. <laughs> Alexandra Dachenko. <laughs> Helen Louise Dean. <laughs> Emily Jones. Unsa Naeem. <laughs> Victoria Nikolayeva. <laughs> Natalie Louise Riley. <laughs> Naomi Kim Thomason. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Management and Events, Julie Kate Edwards. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Man Management in Hospitality, Nadine Ikoli Balongi Kowale. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Management in Tourism, Hannah Marie Bones. <laughs> Gina Louise Everton. <laughs> Lauren Seddon. <laughs> Cassie Ward. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Marketing Management, George Annis. Robin Brahma. Christopher Davidson. Basma El Barbari. Huang Kang. Yeah. 
with the School Award for Best Dissertation, Joseph Lord. Jack Matthews. Yusuf Murad Mohammed. Madeline K. Rostorne Eccles. Georgia Smith. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Marketing Management Sandwich, William Churchhouse. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Marketing Management, Advertising, Marketing and Communication, Jason Bamford. <laughs> Usman Batten. Jodie Lee Billington Straker. <laughs> Chai in in <laughs> so hail Dad. With the School Award for Outstanding Commitment to Academic Scholarship, Kelly Dawson. <laughs> Amir Hussain. <laughs> Mohammed Muller. Olympia Blythe Stewart. <laughs> Dion Witter. <laughs> Sophie Louise Goulden. <laughs> Lauren Kingsley. <laughs> Joshua Scarf. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Marketing Management Digital Media, Sarah Clark. <laughs> Christopher Easton. <laughs> Jasmine Louise Fletcher. <laughs> Wahed Patel. <laughs> Charlotte Quayle. With the School Award for Excellence in Academic Achievement and Scholarship, Callum Spavins. <laughs> Jacob Thomas. <laughs> Ellen Elise Unsworth. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Marketing Management Fashion. Jong U Ji. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Public Relations and Management, Janice Poon. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Public Relations and Marketing, with the School Award for Outstanding Commitment to Academic Scholarship, Robin Langleal and Como. Ellen, Ellen Margaret Powley. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Retail Management, Martha Ritchie.
Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Retail Management Marketing with the School Award for Excellence in Academic Achievement and Scholarship, Kate Louise Cotup. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Retail Management Buying, Patrick Hamer. <laughs> Melissa Jade Perrin. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Economics, Jordan Lewis Booth. Zubair Arib Hussain. Mohammed Ayaz Member. Foundation degree in Arts in Business, Lindsay Burgess. <laughs> Lauren Jade Hexham. <laughs> Heather Joan Johnston. <laughs> Lucia Louise Caroline Ola. Damien Waggett. Patrick Coldroy. Natalie Kizik. Matthew Park. Holly Smith. Lee Tattersall. <laughs> Foundation degree in Arts in Spa Management, Lauren Ainsco. <laughs> Debbie Suzanne Grundy. <laughs> Kirsten Taylor. Alana Megan Townsend. <laughs> Foundation degree in Arts in Tourism and Event Management, Jenny Olivia Ellen Adair. <laughs> Emma Claire Astley. <laughs> Natalie Buchanan. Carly Ann Joyce Cunningham. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Duncan. <laughs> Bethany Howells. <laughs> Michael Unger. Kimberly Charlotte Rigby. <laughs> Megan Rooney. <laughs> Neve Shacklock. <laughs> Holly Unsworth. <laughs> Rebecca Louise Wilson. Master of Business Administration, Anamika. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Business and Marketing, Yang Kai Yao. <laughs> Jason Smith. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Public Relations and Marketing, Mansour Salim Rashid Hadaram Al Kitabeti.
foundation degree in arts and business, Alexandra Rebecca Hart. <laughs> Postgraduate diploma in finance and management, Zhong Chin Chu. Vice Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of awards from the Lancashire School of Business and Enterprise. Vice Chancellor, the presentations are completed. I call on Gemma Gauss, Vice President Education from the Students' Union of the University of Central Lancashire to respond on behalf of those awarded today. Vice Chancellor, graduates, families, friends and loved ones, it is my honour to stand here before you today and speak on behalf of students. Firstly, I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate you all on your incredible achievements. You should all be very proud of yourselves. <laughs> University is much more than gaining a qualification and a certificate. For many of us here today, this is a means to transform our lives and to gain opportunities to create social mobility and to escape the disadvantages and oppression that we face in day-to-day -day life. UCLan is rooted in a strong working class and diverse community in Preston. It prides itself on being a widening participation university. And many of you here today are proof of what can happen when we challenge adversity. Coming to university for many of us was a dream that we did not dream when growing up. We never believed it could be a reality. Some of you graduating today will have been scared, questioned your right to be here, and felt like you might not succeed. Well, to those of you who felt this way, just take a moment, look around, look at where you are, how far you've come, and how much you have achieved. You're here and you made it. Studying is a big part of university experience, but let's not forget about all the amazing things students do alongside this. Whether you have volunteered, been a course rep, or been part of a sports team and society, the passion you have demonstrated is something that, to treasure. Hold on to that passion and let it drive you forward wherever that may lead. To all the families, friends, staff, and loved ones, that have supported you on your journey, we thank you. <laughs> and last but not least, I want to say, as you navigate the next move in life, always remember we have a bubble around us that we like to call the comfort zone. This is a place we feel secure and safe, but unfortunately, just outside of this bubble, is all the good stuff in life. So burst that bubble, break out of your comfort zone and go get the good stuff because it's out there, it's just waiting for you. So class of 2018, go and celebrate because you did it. It is now my pleasure to introduce the University of Central Lancashire Chamber Choir. The members of the University Chamber Choir are all students of music theatre within the School of Journalism, Media and Performance. The choir is directed by the University's musician-in-residence, Mark Goggins. The University is extremely proud of the growing reputation and success of the Chamber Choir. In recent years, 
the Chamber Choir has won national competitions, including the BBC Radio 3 Adult Choir of the Year. The Chamber Choir has performed on BBC One, BBC Four, and on BBC Radio 3, as well as at some major performance venues, including the Royal Festival Hall, Birmingham Symphony Hall, and the Bridgewater Hall. In June, the Chamber Choir returned from their latest overseas concert tour, which once again received great critical acclaim. This afternoon, the Chamber Choir will sing What a Wonderful World by George Weiss.
Today is, of course, a day of, of great celebration for everyone here, and we need to celebrate in an appropriate way. Family and friends, there's a great photo opportunity coming up, so you might want to have your cameras at the ready. Could I please ask all the graduates to stand? And please take off your mortarboards. I know this will be a great relief to many of you, as I've seen how precariously they've been balancing on some of your heads. So, in a moment, I'm going to ask you to wave your mortarboard, and as is the tradition here at UCLan, you must wave as vigorously as you can in recognition of all your hard work and achievements. However, please do keep a tight hold of your mortarboard, as it is now yours to keep and take home. a fantastic practice okay so on a count of three I want you all to wave your mortarboards in the air and at the same time I want everyone else to cheer three times one two three hip 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 That was great, thank you all for that. If you could please be seated. So as we bring this ceremony to a close, I would like to thank everyone who's been involved in making today such a happy and memorable occasion and thank you all for coming and for sharing this special day with the university community. I'd like to invite you all to return to a reception at the university's Foster Building, where we will continue to celebrate the success of today's graduates. And gowns can be left at the Foster Building after the event. Please may I ask you all to stand now for the national anthem. seated. So the platform party will now leave the stage and form a celebratory guard of honour. We're going to conclude the ceremony with a final opportunity to applaud the success of today's graduates. Graduates, you will shortly be processing out of the hall. A university usher will prompt your row when you need to stand up. 
please make sure you take all of your belongings with you. Guests, please may I ask that you all remain seated until the platform party has left the hall. You will be able to rejoin your graduate downstairs. Thank you.